IntuiDry allows you to customize system settings to your dryer operation. From the overview screen, we go to Systems, and then we choose Load. Our setting here is the on delay, which is how long we delay starting the fill conveyor once the dryer calls for more grain. This is to reduce the frequency of how often the fill turns on and off to extend component life. The manual control start and stop window is displayed with each system. This allows starting and stopping the system independently. Let's go back to systems. From the system screen, we can access the fan screen. This screen tells us the status of the fans, that the air pressure is confirmed, and provides a manual control window to start and stop the fan independently. We can return to systems. The burner screen is accessed through the systems as well. This screen shows whether the burner is on or off, and what the plenum temp and the AMC temp sensors are reading. During operation, a status tree of all the inputs and outputs are displayed. We can return to the system screen. The unload screen is accessed through systems also. The unload screen shows where the system is on or off, what the current unload rate is, and that the auxiliary on and off delay. If the dryer controls the starting and the stopping of the reclaim conveyor, then the on delay is how long the reclaim runs before we introduce grain. And the off delay is how long the reclaim runs after we stop the unload so the reclaim cleans out before we shut down the reclaim conveyor. We can return to systems. On the moisture control screen, the dark gray boxes are for information only and are not adjustable. The dry moisture target setting is actually adjusted on the left hand side of the status screen. Maximum drying temp sets a not to exceed plenum temperature. The unload rate limit sets a not to exceed unload rate to avoid overfilling a slower reclaim conveyor. The quality control setting allows for a range between 1 and 10 for a ratio of desired capacity versus desired quality. From this screen you can also adjust the index out of range count. We also see the operation of the piston sampler and we have access to the logarithm details. This is a screen where we see the moisture profile and the drying index averages. Control drying index can be set from this location as well. You can clear the moisture profile screen and you can view the segment history we can return to the system screen. The bin screen is accessed through the system screens also. We record information on nine different grain bins. The dark blue indicates the active bin. By touching one of the bins, we can set it as active, and we can also edit the bin. We can set total bushels held, current bushel fill, the bin coefficient, and the notify level percentage. Just press confirm to lock in these settings. All bins have individual notification levels. On the right hand side of the screen we can enable the bin tracking. After enabling, the system will monitor active bins. If the active bin reaches the shutdown percentage, to avoid overfilling the bin, the dryer will go into shutdown. The shutdown percentage is common to all bins. Continuing on, we see the tracking activated indicator. The enable bin drying will activate the full heat moving target function. And the expected bin drying indicates how much moisture will be removed from the bin in the cooling process. Lastly, there's a one touch button to take all of the current fills back to zero so when you start the new harvest year, we can return to the system screen. The safety screen shows all safety circuits in series. Green indicates the safety circuit is satisfied. Red indicates a fault. 
Because they are in series, all these after the fault will turn red, so the first red indicator shows where the fault occurred. We can go back to systems. Drying modes allows us to operate as a manual batch dryer or enable automatic moisture control temperature-based drying, AMC-T. This screen allows you to adjust those settings. Let's return to the settings. 